You know, there's a lot of hype about vintage guitars. A lot of hype, okay? And, you know, whether you're just starting out or whether you've been playing for years, you may not have ever even touched one. And I have played a whole bunch of vintage guitars, tons of them. I've been playing guitar for a long, long time. And when I was younger, these vintage guitars were, ex you know, more expensive than a new one, but they weren't, you know, 40 grand. So you could afford one. And I played a whole bunch of them. And I'm here to tell you, most of the vintage guitar market is hype. It's hype. You know, I'm a guitar player, meaning I play my guitar, you know. Um, and you know what's funny about these vintage guitars? A lot of guys that can afford these guitars they have replicas made that they take out on the road. Mark Knopfler had a replica of his 59 Les Paul that he took out on the road. He didn't take his 59 Les Paul out on the road. You know, so you see a lot of these guys playing a 59. It may not be a 59. See a guy playing a 57 Strat. It may not be a 57 Strat. You know, um, and with this guitar, there's a video of the guy demonstrating it, you know, and man, you can hear it. It doesn't sound that great. It's not that good of a sounding guitar. <laughs> I don't know how well it's coming through this mic, but let me tell you, it's thin sounding and it's very trebly, very trebly and very thin sounding guitar. And you don't know what amp they're playing this through. And you don't know what the settings are on the amp. They could have the treble turned all the way down right now. And it still is, you know, too trebly. First time I ever played a 59 Strat, I was shocked. Man, I was shocked. I mean, it sounded so bad, I wouldn't take it out to a gig. I mean, I didn't buy the guitar because I thought, you can't play it. it sounded horrible, terrible, super thin. I mean, just ice pick trebly horrible this one sounds better than that one but it's still a thin sounding guitar but this does bring me to this point of old guitars i love old guitars i i love old guitars because i think i personally have an opinion that after about 10 years a guitar settles in. A guitar kind of kind of melds together. You know, it kind of it kind of um it, it it's working in sync with itself very well. And then after about 20 years, I personally think that the wood gets a little bit more seasoned and the guitar has more of what I call a crack to it. Now, at that point, that's why I believe you start getting diminishing returns, <laughs> meaning a guitar from 1960, 61 is not going to have any more crack to it than a guitar from 2003. 
it, it's, it's not going to dry out any that much more, you know, and you can listen to the guitar right here, you know, to me, it ain't worth 40 grand, but I think that, I think old guitars are better than new guitars, but I also don't have anything against buying a guitar straight off the rack. I do think that a guitar straight off the rack can sound incredible. And when you're a musician, when you're a guitar player, the sound of the guitar is a very, very, very big consideration. It's huge. You got playability, you've got feel, you've got look. The sound of the guitar, man, so important. Uh, let, me, let me let me ask you a question. If you paid forty thousand dollars for this guitar, right? Forty grand for this guitar. How good do you think it would sound to you? It sound like the best guitar in the world because you just paid 40 grand for it. So of course it sounds, I mean, it, whoa, it sounds fantastic. Oh, no other guitar. Oh, this just has a certain tone to it. It's just got a certain sound. You just paid 40 grand. Of course it has a certain sound. You can see the same effect in the uh, audiophile world when someone pays $13,000 for speakers. How good are $13,000 speakers going to sound? Real, real good because you just paid thirteen grand for them. And I'm here to tell you, okay, Price does not equal quality of sound. The quality of the sound, especially in Stratocasters, is not equivalent to the price. Just because you're paying 40 grand for this guitar doesn't mean it sounds any better than a guitar that costs $1,000. You know, um, Jack Pearson, great guitar player. Okay. He says, I have a couple of strats that I like a lot and they're squires. Jack Pearson, why he plays an $87 guitar. So here's a guy who's been playing for 30, 40 years, maybe. And he chooses to play a squire Stratocaster. For the sound, it sounds great. He thinks it sounds great and it plays great. Here's a video of him ripping on it. You know, you can listen to this too and compare it to this. You know, uh, does it sound, you know, this is a Squire Stratocaster. Does this guitar sound, you know, $40,900 better than this guitar? Hey. Good doggy. Maybe she thinks so. <laughs> um, no. It doesn't. And the thing with the Stratocaster is they're built the same way that they were built in 1960 as they are now. I mean, look at, look at how close this one looks to this one. I think this is a 2003 American Deluxe. Look at how close it looks. I mean, look at that. 
And this one probably plays better and probably sounds better. At least sounds as good as because, man, when you listen to this video, you'll hear it. Guitar doesn't sound that good. Guitar doesn't sound that good. Uh, let's see here. This is a... Uh... Alder body. Once again, once again, these are all the same. Um, 2005. It's a 2005. Like I said, it's it's an alder body, single coil pickups, maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard. Alder body, single coil pickups, maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard. Yeah. You know, and I understand the historical value of the vintage guitar. I'm not discounting the historical value of the guitar. As a matter of fact, that's the only reason why this guitar is 40 grand. Is because there was only X amount made in 1960. You can only find that kind of guitar in this kind of condition so many times in your whole life. You know, and so you're paying the money here for the historical significance of the guitar, not for what it sounds like. And I'm, I'm saying this for people who may be starting out or maybe, you know, have played for years and never played one of these, these guitars and thought, wow, this guitar has got to be so much better. It's 40 grand. And I'm just telling you, it's not. It's not so much better. A good value, though, is to buy an old guitar. I mean, look at the finish on this one. An American Deluxe from, I think, 2008, something like that. Look at the finish on it compared to this, compared to this one. This finish, to me, is actually better. I find this more attractive as a guitar than this. Just my opinion. You know, and, and also the other thing is to say that Fender has never made a guitar, has never made a guitar since 1960, 1961, 1963. Fender's never made a guitar that sounded as good or better than those just completely false. It's completely false. And once again, it goes with the mindset of having to pay 40 grand for this guitar. Fender has made millions and millions of guitars since 1960. And I guarantee you, there has to be hundreds of thousands of them, possibly millions that sound as good or better than this guitar because they're using the alder body maple neck rosewood fingerboard single coil pickups all that can be replicated all that can be replicated the only thing that cannot be replicated is the fact that this was made in 1960 in the original fender factory before they sold it to CBS in 1965. That's why it's called a pre-CBS Stratocaster. And that's what you're paying for. You're, you're paying for the history of the guitar. You're not paying for the sound of the guitar. So if you've ever wondered as a guitar player that's been playing for many, many, many years, you know, is a vintage guitar that much better? I'm here to tell you, no, it's not. And if you're a newer guitar player and you're looking for a guitar to buy a really good one, you know, go with the used guitar that's about 10 to 20 years old and play, play many of them, play as many as you can. And you'll find one, especially a Stratocaster. And you'll find one, I think, that, that will fit your, fit what you want. You know, 
Um, there are some good Mexican strats out there even. I played Mexican strats that sound as good or better than this guitar. So if, if, you're, if you're looking for a good guitar, I think there's nothing wrong with buying one off the rack. There's nothing wrong with buying, paying 40 grand for this guitar either if you want to and you got the money, okay? Go ahead. I don't have a problem with it. What I have a problem with is people forwarding this idea that this guitar sounds so much better. It's so much different. It's so much, uh, has so much more an, a certain factor to it than any other Fender ever built. That's what, that's where I have a problem because it's just not true. It's just, it's, it's provably not true. But like I said, when you pay 40 grand for this, could I prove to the guy who paid 40 grand for this that I can find a guitar that sounds as good? <laughs> Probably not. Um, but like I said, just if you're looking for a good guitar, I would look for one that's about 10 to 20 years old. And uh, just look around and I believe you'll be able to find one that plays as well or better and sounds as good or better than any pre-CBS Stratocaster. <laughs>